And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another group stage match of Roulette Rifle World Championship 2022. This time we got a group H match between Leo Perk and Oh Shit Man, and I'm joined here by the lovely Gordiniwa. How are you doing, man? Welcome, I welcome. Was, I was all right until your text-to-speech thing called me Gordiniwa, and then um, <laughs> Come that on, seems to have taken on a life of its own. <laughs> <laughs> that lady was hilarious, but yeah, great to have you, man. Oh, it's lovely to be here, mate. And uh, yeah, we'll be wondering why has he done that? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it should be a good. And, uh, Leo, um, he has played before. Uh, I have not. I, I think I might have uh, casted one of his games before, uh, but I am old, so I am he not is, able uh, to forget. He is a returning rival. This is the mm. first match for uh, for both uh, players in this tournament. So uh, they're both kicking it off uh, versus each other. But yeah, yeah, what do you make of uh, the lifetime performances so far? Well, obviously Leo's only been here the once and uh, had the one loss, but then it's Berlin. Uh, things can go wrong in a very... It can be a very long map, can't it? You've got the five targets and obviously five different costumes, five different methods. Uh, things can go awry. Uh, but Osh, um, Osh is looking pretty balanced here. Two wins, two losses, one tie. Uh, so he's been here five times in roulette rivals at least uh, not including any games you might have had in the league and certainly not practice matches and talking of practice i know he practices a lot uh him and 420 can often be seen yeah that's true in a in a voice chat together uh discussing tactics true fun and little, also uh, what was on uh, the soaps last night yeah. so. fun little sidetrack there by the way gordy it's uh exactly a year since we have uh, our shipment amongst uh, us the previous Roulette Rifle World Championship of 2021 was his very first tournament where he uh, made his debut as a rookie, among some he others, of course, like Danny and uh, Kay Canada. But he was also a rookie, so it's been uh, exact, uh, exactly a year. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, of course, yes. The um, RWC was his first tourney, and uh, he's been hooked ever since. Exactly. And, uh, That's how it goes. Like I say, honing his skills as well, so uh, keen to see what he's... Uh, what he's going to bring up, whether um, he's going to pull out some sort of 420 madness or uh, jib out and play it safe. Look, let's just hope that he... I mean, uh... <laughs> yeah, last, last, last year he finished fifth, like barely, just like with one point difference outside of the top four. So uh, we'll see how he uh, does this time around, if he can make it to the KO stages here. And, oh, uh, uh, I have faith first, in him. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, there are so many brilliant players. And Leo mm -hmm. has been practicing for a couple hours on YouTube already. So, uh, yeah, this should be a good match, uh, man. Gordy, will you do the honors? The spin is here, I believe. Sure. Okay. Uh, we have uh, agent number one, Battle Axe with the club crew. Agent number two, Suit, Falling Object. Agent number three, Electrocution as the technician. Agent number four, DJ, Loud SMG. And the final one, uh, Concealable Knife as club security. Now, we've got to have a suit start then. Um, very rare you see a radio tower start, but we can see Leo's got that uh, already on his planning screen. Of course, does allow you to bring in an extra pistol uh, if you so choose to. But yeah, the spin ain't ain't too bad, right? It could be a lot yeah, rougher I mean, for Berlin. You don't... I mean, that's, that's quite a nice one, really. You look at the concealable knife, you take that off of um, Agent Green, don't you? Yeah. Uh, and the disguise as well. So that one's ready-made. Yeah, Falling so Object the... is on the map, Battle Axe is uh, on the map, Loud SMG you do want to bring. I don't think well, there are any Loud SMGs on the map. Well, there you go. I mean, Falling Object, Suit, and Concealable Knife Club Security could be done within the first minute. Yeah. Starting with the Rave. Yeah, definitely, on. yeah. We could potentially see two very quick kills. I mean, it would make the most sense, right? Uh, I'd have thought. I mean, yeah, you'd have to start Rave on. But then, you know, it depends on your planning time. When you see yeah, Osha's still in the planning stage, it's like we're coming up to a minute and a half now. Yeah. Leo's already hit play. And um, long loading time. Uh, presume he's on an older console? If he is on console, I think so, yeah. I haven't uh, checked yet. But yeah, we do see uh, a start we don't see that often. I mean, it makes sense, right? If you are just more comfortable at, at having like an pistol, and a calmer, or whatever else you want to bring, like multiple sure. pistols, and it's not even that much slower. 
It isn't, but if you look at it, I mean, Leo got a good... Uh, well, he had a bit of a head start on Osh there, but Osh is already there, picked up his um, picked up his stash, and is good to go. Um, do you need Seekers? Do you need Darts? No, not you really, know, but it's, uh, like, it's always nice to have like a Calmer as a backup, right? Oh, indeed. I, I, I certainly remember, um, was it RR4 was Hitman 3 only, wasn't it? Yeah. I would almost exclusively start the radio tower because I wanted that security of having my silence pistol and a another thing. Because uh, yeah. I didn't know, you know, because the map was brand new to me anyway. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, we can see uh, Osh going nice and quickly here. Yeah, and I sh he should get the kill uh, any second now. Like, Osh, just like 420, doesn't have any mini weapon, but he should be under there. Judging <laughs> by the time. He might have missed him already. Looks like Osh is. Oh, has he? Not has going he missed, for the first um, kill. Yeah. Has he missed... Uh, is it Swan that's under the bricks, I think, isn't it? It's not Davenport. Or is it Davenport? It's one of those two. I think it's Davenport, yeah. Well, he's bringing Banner up. Yeah, that makes no. a lot of sense to make the disguise uh, come to you for the electrocution. Yeah, and we've got a rip from Leo. Um, have, have we got a rip from Leo, or is he just looking at the objectives and stuff? I'm not I entirely I, I, sure. I, I, I no, he hasn't, he hasn't ripped. Yeah, he's just paused. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Davenport with the bricks. Thank you, Maroshiro. Oh, okay, and this so... looks like where Leo is going. It looks like he's mixing up the battle axe with the old axe. Oh, no. Yeah, the battle axe, of yes. course, is in the uh, biker hangout. Yeah. I think that's the only battle axe on the map. And he had, yeah, he's gone. He's, he's stood by the old axe there. Yeah. Just Ooh. as you say, he must have been checking hit maps and um, just looked at an axe. I mean, we've all been there, right? We can't uh, blame Leo oh, there. Yeah. We've all been there, like, mixing up weapons. Without a doubt. Like, getting the old axe and the battle axe mixed up in Sapienza. That's yeah. the curse, isn't it? You're the opposite ends of the bloody map. <laughs> exactly. And it looks look like... Leo so, oh, flying around the back. Yeah, that's nice. Osh is setting yeah. up for uh, his second kill, the falling object in the suit. And yet, again, he didn't go for uh, for the Davenport kill. That's an interesting choice. I think, yeah, I think he missed. I think he missed it. So he's looking to, uh, he's looking to get Thames, or as you like to call him, Crane Guy. <laughs> hey, it works, man. <laughs> <laughs> whatever your, uh, whatever your method. I mean, I'd argue that mine, uh, my label is more descriptive, really. Like everyone um, knows who I'm talking about <laughs> when I say Crane yeah. Guy, but when crane you guy, say yeah. uh, whatever his face, yeah, yeah half will be oh, like, "Oh, you mean Thames? That's him, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> But Leo, yeah. though, still in this suit, and he is—he's uh, got made his way all the way up to the top here. Now, both pretty close in-game time, but Osha's uh, or Osha's already got—is that two or three? Two kills. That is two, two kills. Yet, yeah, sorry, yeah. of course, the little blue triangle showing that up. Uh, Leo's knocked out Agent Green. Yeah, that should be fine. And he has the concealable knife on him and the disguise, mm -hmm. so that's very nice. Uh... Very nice of him, and that's the first kill for Leo done. Very well done. Sort it out. Now, Osh is in a tech disguise. Now, a tech disguise is an electrocution. Uh, no electrocution here just yet. But what's he looking to do? Is he looking to get Davenport, who he left alive earlier on, did not get with the um, uh, uh, falling object? But there is a definite, there is a definite electrocution opportunity for him nearby. Yeah, you got quite a few options for uh, electrocution, mm. which is which is kind of cool. Like he could still get Swan as well. Yeah. And or if, even if uh, really... the guy in the security room, right, with the uh, the water cooler. Well, downstairs, yeah, you could even get you could get either Chamberlain or Montgomery, yeah, either exactly. of those two dudes. So yeah, lots of options to uh, to mix and match here. Yeah, the key with the one downstairs, though, is uh, not to shoot the plug. Exactly. And we do see Leo do the same thing as well, the famous uh, banner lure. Very so, useful, that one, isn't it? Gives you a I plethora mean, of There's a reason weapons. why everyone is using it, right? Yeah. And, uh... Pretty free to get him up there. Free disguise. You've got a free silenced SMG. Um, what else does he carry? Does he car I think he carries an injected um, poison as well. He, he does. does. He carries he a does. needle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he does. He does. So, Banner, very useful man. 
Yeah, even if you don't uh, need this disguise, like just what you there said, like just stuff that he drops is just uh, super useful already. And there is the electrocution kill for Osh. Yep, very nicely done. Changing into the barman disguise, not something that he needs because no consume poison or anything, but it does make ingress a little bit easier. Does it though? Does it I, don't know. That? I mean, <laughs> I mean, we saw Leo running around in his suit quite happily, just like head up, no worries, not a care in the world. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 fair and enough. And then he's got changed back into his uh, uh, club crew disguise, so. Maybe he got the disguises mixed up. Maybe he was no, looking that, for the that club was the crew. free club crew disguise, right? It was, it was the a... free, cr yeah. So I think he got the two disguises mixed up because they were both free disguises. Ooh, and he's just uh... <laughs> that was a Dutchy, uh, Dutchy yeah, running there. Yeah. Now Leo's got some red guns there. I'm assuming that's from upstairs. So he's, that's from he's, uh, that's he's... from Banner that he knocked out that on was the stairs from, from the Banner lore. And yeah, he does manage to get uh, the DJ disguise, which is a loud SMG kill. So it's also going to be interesting uh, which target oh. they go for for that. Yeah, loud. Oh, that was the yes, of course, loud SMG. That could make it interesting. Um, ooh, roof kill. Yeah, or like if you clear out the security room of these two guys, and then like get uh, either Montgomery or the other dude uh, in here where Leo is right now. Yeah, it will be soundproof. So you do, have, you do have a couple of options. Uh, Leo's looking to get the Seeker on Montgomery. Oh, he's just missed the back of him. Oh, this looks... It's oh, so okay, he stopped. Yeah, he stopped because he's in range of uh, um, starting a phone call with Jiao. Or just getting on his radio. Yeah, and on Osh the other hand, we have uh, Osh, who made... Uh, what's his name, Gordy? This guy, biker guy, sick. Which is very smart, because you got the battle axe right there, right? Lowenthal. Yeah, exactly. However, Lowenthal's a really good candidate for a loud kill in there. Uh, well, if ever you have a loud, <clears throat> loud explosive, it's ideal because he's got one. He's got a C4 block, and that is a silenced room. Yeah. Well, well this is just so. But this is shut, so but... convenient with the battle axe right there, right? So mm. I think this is just a good choice from uh, from O's here. Sure. Any more weapons you can pick up there, and of course, biker disguises for days. And of course, Biker is pretty much the god, uh, god disguise on this on this level. And Leo's getting some oh, 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 oh. very How nice take down that? there. That was so <laughs> close. That's a nice save from Leo there. Yeah, very very close. And, and, and he did get a peekaboo on the um, the guy by the security box as well. So he was quite uh, quite fortunate there. Now he does have to get some. Um, your boy out the way here, um, Montgomery's little mate. And of course, he's dragging the wrong body. Yeah. <laughs> always a, always a, a lot of fun in Hitman, of course. Yeah. Oh, now he's got Chamberlain in the room as well. So, oh, of course, he could have used a water cooler in this room for either one of these guys. The yeah. screwdriver is right next door. But exactly. that's the thing. Once you start going down a path, that's kind of it. And you, you kind of get... Um, the old sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> Osh, meanwhile, is making hay. He's just got that one loud kill left to do. Yeah, man. but there's, as far as I know, there's no loud SMG on the map. And I don't think he brought one, so... Oh. Oh, no. Most of the guards got silenced. There's assault rifles. There, there are, are loud allowed. assault rifles on yeah, a couple of there's... guards, but I don't rem can't recall any loud SMGs on Berlin. Oh, no. Oh, that you could be a it. big issue because we know he picked up his stash and it didn't look like a loud SMG, did it? Definitely not. And we do get electrocution kill from been. Leo there. Although it could have been. Don't forget, we do have a concealable loud SMG since Ambrose now. Yeah, but did he smuggle it? Did he smuggle it? That's a very good question. Now... Not to bring up bad memories for it, you know the pain of walking around a map trying to find a weapon that's not there. <laughs> I embrace it at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I and wear it, it as a shield. The thing is, <laughs> but the thing is, you're near the end of the spin. It's like, right, I just need that. Oh, where is that? Oh, shit. Please don't tell me it's not there. And uh, yeah, in but, Ocean, like in my case, that. it was a conscious decision. I just uh, thought there would be one on the map. 
And maybe mm. Osha had the same thing here, but uh, yeah, he's, he's wasting minutes now. And Leo is just catching up. Three kills down already. Leo is uh, missing loud SMG as DJ and, uh, and the battle axe kill. Did he bring the loud SMG as well, Leo? Uh, oh, she's going for a replay, and that kind of confirms that. Yep. Yeah, it was a Kruger he bought. Oh, dear. Now, uh, of course, like we were saying just now, Ambrose has now brought in a concealable loud SMG, the brine damaged one, I think it is, or yeah. something. There it is. You can see it right at the start. Brine damaged SMG, which is a bit of a game changer, concealable loud. Yeah, definitely. At least a usual thing. unlock, right? Mm. Yeah, I mean, um, look, look, we were just saying as well, there's so many silenced SMGs on the map, you'd be a fool to bring one in yeah. if you didn't. But yeah. look, Leo <laughs> Leo did bring it in. He did. Look at that. He does have the, la um, the, the loud concealable SMG. Now, is he going to drag Banner um, upstairs for this quiet kill? I think he might. He might. He, he has to kill Banner regardless. Like, yep. either with the loud SMG or oh, with the... Uh... Oh, I'm just, I was just wondering, was that investigation um, investigation be, um, something being investigated? Yeah, um, no, it's all Of good. course, he's already got the electrocution out of the way, hasn't yeah, he? So, yeah, yes. It's all good. Well, as long as he hid uh, Montgomery's mate, because they're going to drag the body in um, the other room, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, and Osh, we've got a rip from Osh. Yeah, but that's, oh, the, that's also the thing with roulette, right, uh, Gordy? Like, Osh was doing really well. He was flying through it. And was, then he, he had a restart because he didn't have the weapon. And then you're going to get impatient, especially with this 30-minute timer, right? You have to rush more Leo, and more. I think Leo might be in a bit of trouble here, though. He, uh, he didn't drag um, Banner out to the roof and shot him on these stairs. So he's got people coming up, but he's got knocked out bodies everywhere. Can he get a corner from G before someone's seen? No, he doesn't. That is a rip. That is a rip. That is a rip. Very unfortunate. Oof. Risky play as well. But if he would have saved that, that would have been <laughs> an awesome yeah. highlight. But yeah, that's uh, a restart for both, really. And they're yeah. pretty much all even. It was this guy that Osh is um, just about to knock out, I should imagine. It was him lent up against that wall that was spotted. Had he not been in the way, I think, uh, I think Leo would, would have been safe. But back to square one. Osh does have a 47 second march on him here. And one kill. Just and down. one kill. I mean, the only good thing for Osh is, right, he doesn't necessarily has to change anything because everything worked for him. It's, it's not like you have to, like, reroute everything. Of course. And, and, and you know, most of the time he's going to be traveling around in the guard disguise. So if he still needs that silenced weapon, he can carry that quite happily. And of course, Banner gives you a, a concealable silenced SMG. Yeah, so exactly. when he goes and gets changed into a barman or a club crew, that's fine. Yeah. But yeah, both players had a restart uh, 10 minutes in. And with a 30 minute timer, that's, that's definitely not what you want there. Oh, certainly not. Uh, no, he didn't, uh, Pajiro. Um, he's leaving um, Davenport for the electrocution kill. And he is dropping the crane on Agent Thames for his uh, falling object kill. Uh, that's what he did the first time around, and it certainly looks like he's going to be doing that again here. Yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it just makes sense for him to stick to what he was doing, right? Oh, well, there was nothing wrong with what he was doing. It was just forgetting that weapon. Otherwise, he was home and hosed, pretty much. Exactly. Yes, it was the most risky kill, uh, the loud SMG, but you'd argue he'd been able to get it. Yeah, but he doesn't have a Kruger now for a single shot to getting I under mean, that uh, falling object. So this... I mean, you you can get a single bullet, you can get a single one. You, sh you but can, you, you can. Don't but you know, on you it, know, you? you know what I mean. Yeah, you, know yeah, you mean. don't want to rely on it. It's not the easiest thing to do. I'm He's going to give it a go, is he? Because he should just walk under it anyway, shouldn't he? Yeah, oh, but he, he does from left, to, from right to from right to left, but not from left to right. Uh, but he got him anyway. Yeah, there we exa go. exactly what you said. But he did get the kill, indeed. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Leo made it to the rooftops as well. And will soon have his first kill too. A concealable knife. As club security. Well, he's saving that one, is he? 
Maybe saving them. Um, yeah, cause maybe he's just going to get Banner on the stairs. Saves dragging him. I mean, yeah. That works and he's though. also... How did he get changed twice there? He's changed into the same disguise. Because, because one is uh, of a target and like the game classifies them differently. But for us, it's like both club security. I have... Wow, that's the first time I've seen that. Well, here comes the first kill for Leo. Yeah, that works too. Yeah, it does. It doesn't put Banner on the stairs. No dragging required for him. Exactly. Picked up the, picked up the needle, even though he doesn't need it. Good to see another kleptomaniac playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> we all are, aren't we? Oh, after every spin, mate, my inventory is just a nightmare to scroll <laughs> through. <laughs> 15 crowbars, two wrenches. <laughs> but uh, it looks like uh, Osh panicked uh, a guard here, and he is in his uh, tech crew disguise. Uh... And this is looking very scary. Oof. And I don't think he had Rip, but... Oh no, I think the um, ex exclamation point had gone up, so yeah, it looked like he ripped. And Osha's looking at changing his plan. I don't think he needs to, though. I He's think looking he, at the he, radio he, tower. He, he, he might need to, though, with like less than 12 minutes remaining. He might need to speed things up here and there. He's gone for the security of the, of the extra silence pistol, hasn't he? Yeah. Now, Leo has peekabooed Chamberlain and Chamberlain's going to grass him up. There isn't any way he's going to get away with that. No, there isn't. Eesh. Oof, We've got oof, another rip from Leo. Oof. Now the pressure will be building for these boys. Like we say, it's only a 30 minute spin and we have 22 and a half minutes gone and counting. So, um, yeah, pressure will be building because they were both getting close to the end, but they were approaching the 10-minute mark in um, in their runs, yeah. uh, on their more successful runs, shall we say. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, this is last chance saloon if they want to get going, I think. And, I mean, it's also uh, the very first map for both of these players in this tournament, right? You also have to, like, grow into a tournament, get familiar with the feeling and the tension again. So but Berlin might not be the easiest map to uh, to start a tournament on. I, I never get comfortable with it. I don't think I've ever been comfortable playing a match. <laughs> <laughs> Every time it's the same. You know, it's like, yeah, I feel good. Then you see the, the timer ticking towards zero and the spin arriving. It's like, oh, I wish I'd gone to the toilet. Oh, I wish I'd had that extra can. <laughs> but yeah, some people are uh, built different. But that's certainly how it goes for me. <laughs> hey Leo, taking a bit of a different route this time. He's as he realised again that um that is not the axe he wants. Yeah, he he yeah. yeah I can I can hear him. He's just he's got that realization of why am I going that way? No, he's still going for that old axe. Not again. No, he's going for a shovel. He's, apparently, I caught a glimpse of it in chat. Apparently, there's also so, a battle axe somewhere that you can dig up with a shovel. No. Apparently. Is there? I, I didn't did not know, know about this. I didn't know about it. But... Well, I'll tell you where it does know about this, mate. <laughs> Google. Tell me. And if you Google it, it'll take you to hitmaps.com. What's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> well, it's your, well, it's your one-stop shop for all your hitman needs, mate. Anything you need to know about uh, any of the maps on Hitman, it's there. That sounds absolutely amazing and a lifesaver for a lot of players. Dude, it's uh, it's my only place to go when I'm looking for things on Hitman. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Leo digging up the battle axe. Brilliant. What a legend. Well, well, well. But yeah, they, uh, both players do need to hurry up a bit. Less than nine minutes uh, remaining. Oh, yes, uh, one kill down. Yeah, but that battle axe, though, it is in Narnia. You would be better served going in and just, like, grabbing the free biker disguise and grabbing the axe yeah, from the hangout, sure. wouldn't you? For sure. Still, it was nice to show it off, because I never, I didn't know that was there. <laughs> yeah, no, me neither. Easter egg rivals when? Good question, <laughs> Blunts. Good question. I've been asking for roleplay rivals for a while. <laughs> 
And uh, Osh is uh, mixing up the kills as well a bit. Or at least he's using the brick this time for crane guy and not the crane. Works all the same, but that's... Uh, yeah, well, of course, the timing down. would have been... Yeah, the timing would have been quite a bit different with starting at the radio tower rather than um, um, his rave on. Yeah, exactly. He does have banner already knocked out, though, so that's nice. Yeah, no need to uh, change that up. Just needs to make sure he doesn't get his SMGs mixed up when he does do the, uh, the, the DJ kill. Yeah, that would be rough. Yep. Yeah, imagine bringing a, a silenced SMG when you need loud SMG. I'm just thinking about me <laughs> versus Goulet in Chongqing, <laughs> which wouldn't have mattered anyway. I, was I mean, it, it's hard to, uh, to stay level-headed. It a really, match. really is. Especially at um, 10 o'clock on a Saturday night when uh, I play Goulet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, and he's going to go with... Um... Now, this is interesting for Oz because that is a... Oh, it is a pistol. Of course he did start Radio Tower, didn't he? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. That's what he tried last time, but he got a panic from another guard, and then he got caught in that corner. Ah, uh, yes. But so this, this is why he went now. for the change. And look at that straight away. Yeah. Very nice. Lovely electrocution kill there. So, Osh, three kills out of the five. Leo, three minutes and 40 seconds in, no kills yet. So, uh, needs to get a wriggle on. Yeah. And the timer isn't stopping for anyone. No, but, it yeah, is you, not. You'd say a little, uh, a little less than seven minutes for two kills for oh shit, and that should be doable. You'd say. He doesn't want to rip now though, because then it's pretty much over. I'd say. Sure. And if you look at the kills he's um, he's got as well left to do, the battle axes, club crew. He made a short work of that earlier on. He got low and fall, didn't he, in the bathroom? Yeah, I imagine he's gonna do the same thing. I'm still curious to see his uh, loud SMG kill though. Yeah. But um, being in the biker hangout and taking the biker disguise gives him very easy access downstairs to uh, go get himself a DJ. Yeah, you know, quick little server, server, server rack pull distraction. Absolutely, and yeah, Leo has a has a target isolated here. He's in an area that we don't see all that often during uh, mm. lap matches, so it's uh, definitely interesting. Yeah, very rare people come over here. Yeah. Some of you spend some time in contract, but certainly not in roulette because there's no targets normally. Yeah. Normally you don't... There's nothing over here you want to grab. Oh, no, and that's a rip. Leo did not get the corner subdue. You got it. Cleanly. Yeah. Too yeah. yeah. That's so a shame. I'm, it's looking like the end of Leo's Berlin, I would say. Um, <clears throat> I mean, a five-minute Berlin is doable, but... Not with not with the strats that he's employed so far, I would say. Yeah, it's all in uh, Oshitman's hand uh, here at the moment. It is. Now, if I was Leo, I'd stay by the radio tower, sat by the um, fire, have a smoke, have a drink, <laughs> just, <laughs> just chill out for a minute. But yeah, quick disguise change for uh, for Osh here. Gonna retrieve the battle axe right at the couch. Yep. Change back and get the fourth kill. And yeah, then DJ loud SMG. And he does have a loud SMG this time. He does indeed. He's made sure of that. He, he will be kicking himself for forgetting it first time, though, because he was so close to the end with so much less pressure on the timer. Yeah, exactly. Four and a half minutes to get the DJ and to uh, choose a target. Still doable. Still very and doable. And an exit. <laughs> yeah, that too. That too. <laughs> Which one is he going to go for, though? Now, Chamberlain and Montgomery are both still up, aren't they? Banner's gone upstairs. So I would imagine yeah, it's going to be Chamberlain up. or Montgomery. Those would be his uh, preferred uh, preferred targets. Of course, like you say, you get, them, get one of them in that bathroom, downstairs in the security room, knock out those two geezers there. Yeah, That's a soundproof room. But will that timing of the cycle align with uh, the time remaining for Osha? That's also a yeah. question. I mean, you got you got two potential dudes that can have it. Yeah. Yeah, we can see Osha's um, first, first time he's got himself some camera trouble. Yeah, so he does, but, he does have uh, some nice the, timing here for him, though. That's good. Yeah, there's Chamberlain. Oh, well, how's he going to take him out? And take him out on his way back, but oof. this is scary. 
Okay, nicely knocked out. Okay, not as scary as I thought it would be. Okay, so security room is clear. Yeah. But like you He's said, sure, uh, yeah. big guy is still up, right? Montgomery. Montgomery is still up, but where is he? Yeah, exactly. Because he, he, walk, well. he walks in there, and that's, um, that's uh, game over. Yeah. He's so because, close now, though. It's just... Yeah, of course, Montgomery has his little mate with him as well. It's not as if um, if it was the other way around and uh, Chamberlain walked in, then you can kill Chamberlain to get your green guns back, can't you? No. No, you can't, no. Unless it's... Uh... Can you? Can you not? No, you can't. I mean, if it's just like uh, the big guy that's out, then sure. But like you said, However, he, has his, he has his homie with him. Here we go. He's searching through. He's found his brewing damaged SMG. Got the kill. Don't know if there's any searching because, well, reasons. And he's still going to be trespassing going over the other side here. So, um, oh, no, he's got his... No, that is um, security disguise. Yeah, I know. You should be good there. Yeah, you can kill extra targets. But he's out. Osh is out. GG's. <laughs> wow. Two, two minutes, minutes left on remaining. the timer. Oof. Oh, GG's. <laughs> GG's. Oh, that was tight. That was really tight. All right, on to wow. this uh, second map, which is uh, Marrakesh. Uh, I'll be right back, Gordy. I have to do some admin stuff. No worries, mate. Of course, uh, Fro is the admin for this match, so he's got to go in there, do all that good gubbins. But at least it's only two targets. He's got to keep track of this time. Berlin being a little bit more difficult in that respect. But yeah, down to the wire for Osh there. It was, it was coming in close to a tie. Uh, Coulda, shoulda, would have been finished much, much earlier had he remembered the um, the loud SMG is not on the map. You have to bring it with you, but got it done eventually. 28 minutes into the spin, <laughs> finally out, breathing a huge sigh of relief. However, it shouldn't really be over yet. We can't see his five-star screen. <laughs> We let him off. We did see that there was green guns at the exit, and we did notice all the kills. But you know, I personally would want to want to see that big old silent assassin and five stars just to make sure that the admin knew that um, I done it, Mister. I done it, sir. Sir, I did it. I, I, I finished the level. It was fine. It was absolutely fine. But Berlin is done. We're now off to Osh's choice which is Marrakesh, and there will be a third map as well. I won't tell you what that third map is, because uh, I get told off for that all the time by spoiling what the surprise might be. But if you can't wait to find out, then just go have a look in the Discord. It'll tell you there in the matchups. I haven't looked, as it stands, because um, well, I'm lazy. Plus, I've only just finished work. Marrakesh, of course, General Razor Zaydan. A little bit of trivia for you. Played by, um, he's voiced by Jason Isaacs, who is Lucius Malfoy in the Harry Potter films. Don't know if I've ever mentioned that before. but uh, Only a handful of times. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel it's necessary. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, everything point. is set up. We got a new spin arriving in three and a half minutes. We got the predictions paid out. We got new predictions up. So if you're a betting man, Feel free, you got uh, roughly three minutes to do so. And yeah, Marrakesh. I like yeah. Marrakesh. I like Marrakesh. I like Marrakesh, yeah. It's a 2016 map. What's not to like? Exactly. They're, great. They're, they're all good maps in 2016, I think. I don't think there's a bad one. I know people hate on Bangkok, but I think Bangkok's a brilliant map. Especially for contracts. Oh, yeah. But you look. I'm also looking at the uh, lifetime performance of these guys. Uh, obviously, both returning rivals, but neither have been here very often. Leo, not at all. Osh, only the once. But he did win. He did win it, though. So, you know, you can see why he picked it. Fair play. He's checking out the, uh, the TV channel of record, the BBC breaking news there. <laughs> Speaking of record, what is the uh, map record here, uh, Gordy? Uh, four minutes and thirty-eight seconds by Chris X3. That must have been a pretty, um, uh, pretty uh, complimentary spin, because that's fast for Marrakesh, I would say. Yeah. Planning, yeah. getting in, and getting out. Definitely a soldier disguise, like elite soldier or 
officer or whatever for uh, for Razor. It has to be. I mean, Captain Hindsight could do any spin in less than four minutes and 30 seconds, obviously. But <laughs> Captain Hindsight is OP. Uh, <laughs> whenever you uh, Captain Hindsight these spins, it's like, oh, yeah, why didn't I think of that in the match? Well, because you've had 10 seconds to think and plan and get in. Whereas with Captain Hindsight, you've got all day and all night, <laughs> haven't you? And uh, millions of suggestions from chat. I, I'd always, I must admit, I would be interested to see who would win out of Captain Hindsight and chat. I th- well, I think... chat, chat, because Captain Hindsight have to, has to do it after the fact. Hence, oh, his, yes. hence, hence his name. And chat is just being chat, and they just type chat down in there. three minutes and they're out, you know? So. No, the, you're not wrong there. Yeah, absolutely. Chat, 50 million time RR winner. Like, if we're talking uh, about, like, in, in-game time, then sure. Then uh, Captain Hindsight will win it <laughs> with the superb strats and preparation over hours. But chat, oh. will, be, chat will be done on the spot first. Because of course. Captain Hindsight is, is powerless during. Yeah. It's only afterwards. So Yeah, yeah. and of course you can't you can't, um, you can't prove that chat didn't rip. Um, <laughs> at all. Chat never rips. Chat has never ripped once. They they are ripless. They're very good at that. True, true. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna grab a quick beer, Froggy. Um you know, I'm gonna leave you on your own like you did to me, you you, you bitch. I see, <laughs> I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> Go grab one, man. All right, guys, 40 seconds remaining. And, uh, yeah, second map. We will see if Leo uh, can tie things up here, make it 2-2. Of course, uh, it's a group stage match. So they will play three maps regardless of the score. But, yeah, as mentioned, uh, limited experience from both players on both maps. So this could prove to be uh, interesting. (laughs) As match admin, I happen to know the spin uh, already. It's uh, It's an interesting one to say the least but yeah we're 10 seconds away good luck to both players let's see what they can do here and there we go all right razor sedan explosive weapon as prisoner and klaus hugo strandberg explosion accident as local printing crew all right we're gonna see a breaching charge here mate probably could see two Good see it too. It's a it, it's an interesting spin, uh, I'd say. <laughs> I can just hear. I got Leo's audio up in my ear. I can hear him going, "Oh shit!" <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so thinking, How am I going to do this? Well, who would you go for her uh, first here? Then you can set up a nice, easy explosion accident for Klaus, but you got to get that printing crew. You got to get that timing, haven't you? I mean, y- you could. You could argue for both, I'd say. Mm. I mean, if you like, if you just want to stick to the basic, I'd say still just go for Klaus first. Like, grab the printing crew, the sky straight away, and uh, and rush uh, Klaus. Or you could even like start janitor, or yeah. somewhere around there, uh, get Klaus earlier, set him up, and then get uh, the printing crew on the way out. Of course, you've got um, you've got propane quite close to Klaus. Um, yeah, somewhat. Just uh, in the in the car park entrance to the. Um, yeah, exactly. Well, the back car park entrance, shall we say, to the consulate. Mm-hmm. Well, we've got two different starts. We got Leo starting um, at the bazaar, and we got Osh starting in the school. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, the school start kind of makes you, sense too. Yeah, you can get Klaus in, uh, sorry, Razor in his office. You can get him all set up to go, can't you? Now, is he going to get in before he turns? He does. Nicely done. So, Osh dragging Razor around the corner. Yeah, set the, up with the, scary, breach in charge. the scary thing is the breacher, though. Like, they, they might hear it. Depending, <laughs> depend, depending on their positioning where they are. Yeah. Yeah, Hitman can be funny with the noise, can't it? Yeah. Now, I'm getting the, I'm getting the feeling that um, Leo is um, generally a Sasso player. You see this quite often with people. Um, I know Leo is a returning rival, but you see it quite early on in their roulette sort of career, if you will. Yeah. That whenever they start, they tend to start in suit. It I took mean... me ages to get out of that habit. 
Because that's all I would run with Sasso. So, but uh, not, nothing wrong with that uh, when starting out, right? For your first couple of tournaments. If that's what course. you're most uh, comfortable with. Sure, absolutely. But it, it, and it, but it is noticeable. And then um, it, yeah. it, it does take a bit of, oh, right. So, I, yeah, I suppose I do gain more of an, of an advantage by starting as food vendor if I need a food vendor disguise and there's no suit. And... Yeah. But yeah, we have Osh uh, as the uh, Razor Kill down already in uh, 1 minute 20 in game time. I don't see any searching uh, either. So. Uh, yeah, looks well, like he's not got the map on. He's not got the map on, has he? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any searching. No. <laughs> looks fine. There doesn't seem to be any panic anywhere, does there? No. Searching wouldn't appear for Breacher anyway. I don't suppose it would, Blunts. No, of course. Of course it would not. It would just be a, oh, what was that noise? Rather than, we got gunfire. True. But either way... You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what you mean, yeah. But either way, he would have gone red by now if um, uh, <laughs> if Razor had been found. So that looks to be pretty damn safe in there. Yeah. So Osha rushing into the consulate. Interesting timing here. Ooh, and Leo rips grabbing the um, trying to get the um, uh, printing crew dude. Yeah, with a dart. I mean, there <laughs> there were a bunch of people there, just behind yeah. him, so that was not gonna work. He's a good guy to grab, um, but you you tend to need a, a bubble gum for him, don't you? Mm, Ooh, not necessarily uh, or a calmer. But this timing might be a bit awkward for uh, for Osh here, though. Hey, if he times this right, he could do it. He could still get it. No, Klaus yeah. is gone. So, oh, and, and <laughs> my life, that was some big. He's on the wrong side of the door, but he can still get the corner subdue. That's fine. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Still Osh a bit, with, um, still a bit awkward, though. And he has camera troubles as well, which uh, we don't see very often in, uh, in Marrakesh. Very rare, because there's only three cameras, and they're all in the consulate. One in the yeah. car park, one on the, um, uh, the door the main front door and one uh, upstairs outside Klaus's office. That's all the cameras in Marrakesh and that's it. Exactly. <laughs> and Osha's hit one. But yeah, now how uh, how will Osha handle this? And you've also got uh, Leo. He's now looking to get this dart off on the printing crew dude. Oh, he's got people everywhere. And they're moving now as well. Yeah. Uh, he's trying to get that's a good move using the briefcase that does attract eyes yeah but do... oh, oh he gets the shot one off one. he gets the shot off gets the disguise and he's away nicely wow, done Leo beautiful. very nicely done beautiful beautiful there that was uh, some clutch work well he now, proved me Osh. wrong I was like that's never oh. gonna work but he did get it and Osh. we do have a rip from Osh oof yeah, he was in cover trying to... And Klaus had just seen him, but yeah. it must have been too open an area to do anything about to sort of save it. Oof, oof, oof. And there, uh, well, we got a lead for Leo, technically. We do. He does have to move move a bit, though. He might miss uh, Klaus's cycle, the standard cycle of uh, 230 here. Don't dislike this from Osh either. This um, this uh, razor um, uh, ISO different to the one you uh, often see. Yeah, no, works great. Mm. That looks practiced. We, what do you say? I'd say he's done that once or twice before. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, meanwhile. He's coming up to the uh, the two free explosives in the um, in the car park. Probably going to blow up a car here. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah, but I'm that's a big whoosh. He took his time. Oh, now he's thrown the second explosion. I'm not a fan Doesn't... of the timing there either. Though, look, it's already two thirty. It is. He's got a a dentist appointment. But he didn't disturb those two guards upstairs, so that's fine. Yeah. He is in the consulate. He's in the right disguise, but that doesn't matter because he can set that up remotely. He, yeah. He's taking this copper's disguise, which uh, the copper's disguise isn't really that 
good a disguise around here. Or anywhere. Or anywhere for that matter. <laughs> it's, it's, outside yeah, I think the it's the worst one outside the consulate of all of them. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably better off in the janitor. Um, now, does he have it? Does he have what he needs to set this up remotely? I mean, he has to find another spot. And another thing is, uh, by that propane uh, tank lore that he tried to do, another NPC is coming up. You can see it uh, just at the right of his screen, just there. I hope he's yeah. aware because yeah, I mean, it's not going to enforce. It's not going to enforce you though. It's a lady. Should be. Sure, but it's it's just the fact he's staying in this disguise. He he. I mean, he can change into the janitor and bugger off for a bit. He doesn't need. He doesn't need to stay in that disguise. He can go off and do whatever work he needs to do in the janitor's janitor's yeah, disguise. He might only be uh, familiar with like the standard uh, isolation for Klaus here, so he might just be like, I'm mean, gonna chill here for a bit. Yeah, Wait sure, for him to sure. Go back. Uh, he has finally got changed in the janitor disguise, and he's gonna go and. Um, Try and set up uh that is a micro taser by the looks of things. Now this probably won't be the right room to do it either, because there is a guard that walks in here yeah. to you don't, you don't and do the, that. both of these geezers are enforcers for a janitor. Just saying how bad the copper was. Of course no peekaboo is an option here because um you know you're not trespassing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. However, now this copper stood outside the door for Leo on the opposite side. He could be, um, he could be a problem. Yeah, definitely. But it looks like he's just improvising here, so that makes it even harder. In the meantime, Osha has to kill down again on uh, Reza and is infiltrating the consulate uh, yet again. Okay, so Klaus is knocked out, but he does have two dirty bodies there. Yeah. Or did no? Did he use the karma, or did he miss the karma on the? Like he's, no, he d he knocked him out, didn't he? He did. He did knock out. He, he did. Yeah, two dirty a... bodies. So yep. nowhere to hide that chap either. So um, yeah, this could be problematic. <laughs> and Osh is ripped. Osh is ripped. Oof, yeah, I just saw it. But like, even if no copper would come in there for Leo, like you're basically turning it into an exit kill now. You can detonate it any earlier, because yeah. they will find that other dude. And he forgot to take the propane with him as well. This, this is going to be... Oh, no, 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 no. Is that guy walking there? I'm not sure. I don't think so. And he opened the door for him, so he saw anyway. Leo. Oh, no, Leo. Well, oh, buddy. they're all even again. They are. Oh, wow. And yes, it would appear that Leo is on a PS4. You can yeah. tell by the um, the graphic there. And that's 10 minutes just gone already, uh, Gordy. 10 minutes, one third of already? the Already? Yeah. It goes so quick. It does. And Osh with the, showing off this uh, Razor ISO. I mean, it's time. clean. It's For clean. the fans. For the fans. It is very clean. <laughs> It's always quite nice to uh, grab the um, officer, but obviously that one's way quicker. Look at that, 30 odd seconds, and he's downstairs. Yeah. Razor's set up. He's going to get his prisoner grab in a moment as well. Look at this. Number two distraction shots. Sends one upstairs, sends the other to the opposite wall. Yeah, and it looks like Leo is. Wow. Uh, Very nice. I was going to say drop his suit uh, requirement. But uh, he's still starting his suit, but Chase is up to the to the school now, though. So he's still a suit player, uh, Gordy. But yes, yeah. he, uh, he has changed locations. Let's see if that brings him uh, better luck with this spin. Okay, Osh with the kill. That's a lovely prisoner grip. Has he killed him yet, or is he just? What's going on? He didn't drop the breacher. Oh, no, oh, he, he did two, the breach. He has two breaches. Yeah, yeah. He has two <laughs> breaches. Yeah, yeah, that other one confused me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? But it's a, that is a lovely um, that's a lovely little sequence there, isn't it? With the uh, razor isolation, the prisoner grab. And yeah, no doubt, practice, because you yeah, got three distraction good. shots to make that happen. And everybody that could get in the way is out of the way. Yeah, very clean. 
Leo is in school and yeah, that's um he's upstairs yeah. by the army truck in the army truck keys room. Way and, too many eyes are rump. Yeah, just a few. You need you need bo beaucoup de darts, as the um French Canadians say. And uh, to, to get away with <laughs> <laughs> Boku de distractions. Ah, oui, oui. Well, um, down the down the hall on the right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Leo is changing his loadout uh, a little. We do have Osha going through the consulate garage here. Yeah, grabbing himself a key card, and why not? Also avoiding and the cameras this time. No, he's found, he's a found first time as well. Bloody hell. That was a late one. That was a late one. Yeah, I mean, he was all the way over to the consulate. He was just about to go in on the ground floor. But Leo, though, he's changed it up. He is now in the school. Let's see what is. Uh, we can see he's picked up the um, safe code, whether that was just a habit or whether he intends to bring a... Uh, Bring Klaus down to the under, under, um, uh, underpass. That's not a bad idea either. Like, if you're struggling mm. with the timing of Klaus, you can always bring him towards you, or closer to you anyway. Well, it's the only way you're going to get a fire kill now as well. If uh, if um, <laughs> if a fire comes up for you, for uh, Razor, or for um, for Stramberg. I mean, so Honeycomb. You could still use the Molotov for Klaus. So the Molotov's still allowed then. We're just going to clear up this because uh, I, I haven't read the rules this time. Um, <laughs> the Molotov is still allowed, but obviously it does give you a dirty body rather than the SA. Yeah, it, it's basically like found. exactly. It's basically like a, a loud kills. So you have to box them straight away after, but it's still uh, it's still doable. Yeah, boxing a burning body is not the safest thing to do either. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen worse. But yeah, for the, time, <laughs> for the seventh time, for the seventh time this uh, this match, Osh will kill Reza here as the prisoner. Yeah. I was gonna say we've all we've all seen worse for it. We've all got the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah Leo, Leo is uh, dismissing the... a lot of players. Makes yeah, a lot of he's sense going. Too. Oh, saying that, Cla um, Razor is downstairs for him though. But, yeah, but that you can't isolate out. the pair of them. Apart from that door, he's gonna wake up that. Leo could be in a bit of trouble here. Could get the knockout. Oh, nice. though. That could be fine. Yeah. Should be okay. He's struggling to get out of cover. He is now out of cover. This is actually pretty nice. And look at that. It's not even that much slower compared to the the Gordy kill. Gordy kill? <laughs> oh, still. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, hang on. We got an NTK. Yep. What? Oh, uh, for uh, well. for some of you that aren't uh, too sixteen old school uh, guys, if you knock out the prisoner and he gets spotted by someone, he insta dies. In this case, Reza saw him knocked out and then he dies. Because, wow! Uh, logic. That's been there for seven years, and I didn't know yep. that. Okay. Another fun thing is uh, what uh, on Marrakes what Dan yet uh, yesterday. If you run to the main entrance without showing the invitations, so let's say you got rid of that bodyguard, the soldiers in there will uh, put you in insta combat. Also, don't do that. Invitation? What in? Sorry, where? For the shisha cafe, you know where. Uh, uh, Yes, like yes, if yes. you get rid of the bodyguard and then run in without having shown the invitation, you go to, uh -huh. into combat instantly. So like this a couple is, of those this things, just like with match. the prisoner, like if you don't know, you'll never know because it doesn't make sense until it happens to you. Gotcha. Yeah, I've had it. I've seen it before, whereby it's like uh, the invitation thing on other levels. Um, you know, you are presumed trespassing, even though you would be okay had you shown the invite and things, or Gone for a frisk. But yeah, but it's actually insta combat. It's like not even. Uh... It's not even uh, this way, sir. Exactly. Which doesn't matter because that's still red guns anyway, isn't it? <laughs> even if they were polite yeah, yeah. to you. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, Leo, this time tranking 
the prisoner being ultra careful. <laughs> I mean, he still has to box him, though, because you can trank him all you want. He's still going to die as soon as they spot him. So. Oh, is that that also does that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. He has got him. And look, he's going to go in the chair. We're going to see some role play. He's going to headbutt him. Let's see if it works out for him. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> Don't snap his neck. Yes, that's the other thing. That's a prompt as well, isn't it? So you have, it do have to be a little bit careful. No way to do this without lockdown, Blunts reckons. It does look scary, though. Hmm. So oh, where's hurt. his where's where's his yeah you got the geezer outside haven't you yeah and it is a lockdown can he box him yes oh, a he, little time yes he does kill him but no and that is a rip for leo he was he was back to green to be fair he was yeah. back to green but that like was if, if that way. soldier outside is still up he'll always hurt that close uh, combat and it's really hard to save it uh, yeah and, uh, but yeah meanwhile osh Back to the consulate, yet again. And again, look at the timer, Gordy. Another 10 minutes basically have passed. It goes so quick. It does. And again, every minute that ticks by, that's another run of pressure, isn't it? It is. It really is. So, oh, sh <sighs> last time he ripped just uh, just about to go through these doors so we've got moment of truth time coming up here possibly and looks like he should be safe i mean he should have been safe anyway yeah. he was just unlucky with the way the body must have bounced previously I'm really looking forward to see how he wants to handle uh, klaus now because it's it's the same awkward timing basically it is i mean <clears throat> as long as klaus is still on that railing you can get him And he could have used the propane to do it, unless he has... No, Klaus is gone. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just yeah. awkward timing. <clears throat> yeah, so he's defo, he's defo with Klaus there. But, again... I do also like uh, Leo's approach here, uh, though, <clears throat> for Razor. And doesn't waste the trank now, uh, either. Just uh, put him to sleep. Oh, he's killed him! Again! NTK must have been yeah, spotted. Yeah. That got in the hallway. Oh, it, so, it was just a sliver through yep. the doorway that he could see, but it was enough, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, interesting as well that um, oh, she's uh, swiping into that room. Normally, that's an illegal action, no matter who you are, even if you have the card. Oh, no, it's illegal for Janitor. Obviously, it won't be. Oh, he's got a body found. Oh, yeah. wow. Is that in the um, back room? Yeah. And of course, there's a wall of... hack there, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's yeah. not the wall hack. He threw yeah. that distraction for, uh, for Klaus, oh, remember? Oh, for Klaus. And of but course, the lady came up. someone downstairs heard it and went up. Yeah. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. That's always a thing as well. I mean, um, uh, used it before now with um, knocking out that copper in there, dragging him back a bit and letting Klaus see the body so he runs in. Of yeah. course, Klaus gasps and runs in, and that's enough to attract someone upstairs as well. Yeah, exactly. Always have to be very, very aware of uh, those things. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, that was legit. That was no bullshit from the game uh, there. Yeah. Yep, yeah, someone had to, because um, of course the guard was preoccupied with the uh, with the vacuum cleaner. He wasn't going to notice that audio lore. The other... The other thrown audio lore say yeah, yeah, yeah that was meant for class yep uh another calm this time he d uses a uh, calmer again leo for uh for the prisoner a little bit of a waste but uh but shouldn't matter sure now he's got changed back into the prisoner he's looking to do this thing again yeah uh and it's not <sighs> It's going to be difficult. He might have been better off getting just staying in the officer disguise and waiting outside. To, uh, and waiting outside yeah, yeah. and letting letting Razor go in. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, it's, it's very easy to say that sat here. I say a lot of things sat here, whether they're true <laughs> or not, to be honest. <laughs> we know, we know. <laughs> now, can he get behind him? Is that what he's going to do? He is. He has. Oh, and it's again, um, he's got the, uh, he's got the lockdown. Yep. Oh, and he's, he's got the kill. He needs to box him. He needs to Can he get away with this? He's wow. got his disguise. Wow, wow, disguise, wow. dude. Disguise, disguise. You can't hide. <laughs> okay, he's got away with that. Wow. Wait, go on, Leo. Nice, nice, nice. Don't break nice, up the, nice, nice. the door. You're not trespassing. You're fine. Okay. Nothing's in this alleyway. Nice. Yeah, but still, <laughs> he's good. He's in the clear. Everything's boxed. He's in the, he is he in can't the clear. Rip. He can't rip. He's nice. fine. He's fine. He's he fine. He got the razor kill down. Very well Just done. needs to not bump into any other officers. Woo! Go on, lad. We love to see it. Ocean mm. out is coming into the consulate. Razor not found again for him. And looking at the timer, Gordy, six minutes left. That is uh, still enough for both players, really, to, to finish the spin. I would say so. Yeah. Now, Leo will probably try and go and get the printing crew disguise now. He's looking to, likely, looking like yeah. he's headed that way. Might be picking up a propane here. There are tons of them around the market. There's loads. There's so many on Marrakesh. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It is. Looks like uh, Oost, for the first time this match... Oh, he got him. He got, yes. He got, he got, got the. Um, he got Klaus. He did. And he got the double audio. That's nice. Very nicely done. Yeah, he needs to be careful here, though, because Klaus is enforcing... Uh, he needs to hide behind the door. Shut the door as well, if he can help it. No, that's fine. Neither of them noticed. Total green guns. He's placed in the propane. Just slam it on the deck, dude. Just drop it and shoot it. <laughs> he can shoot it, though. He still needs the disguise. No, he can shoot it once to get it leaking, but of course he's got a breacher, so he doesn't mm -hmm. even need to do that. That's okay, then. Yeah, that's all hey, good. he can still drop it. All right, five minutes to get the, the printing crew. And he has picked up... I didn't see what he picked up there, because he had a gun in his hand when he went out. Would that have been a karma, or would that have been a bubble that gun? Make, that would make the most sense, right? A karma, though. He's raw, to be honest. Yeah. Would you, uh, Leo Perk uh, stalking the... The print crew disguises here. Oh, of course, yes. He did have some issues with it earlier on, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, this is scary with all those eyes. Yeah, and especially where he's put that print crew, dude. He's put him in the other corner, which is where people can see, as opposed to behind that box where people can't for some reason. Oh, Leo's having a think. He's having a... Looking at the mission stories. He can't, he can't think too long, though. No. But yeah, now we're going to see uh, Osh uh, approach this. Yeah, I'm just uh, just looking at the argument in chat whether Breacher is better than Taser or Taser is better than, better than Breacher. You're both wrong. Concussion Duck, better than the pair of them. There we go. End of story. Oh, and Osh <laughs> also... Oh, he's, he, him in he's, the corner. he's fallen. Yeah, but he's fallen awkward. Ooh, oh, no, 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 no. Why no, do people get... use that? I don't get why they don't go for... There's so much safer options for him. And you don't even need anything. No, you can just like go around and trigger and you can get him in the side room. You yeah. know, just trigger the conversation Oof. if you if you've got time, if you really like, you know, want to be but that much more careful. Time. But like he had more than three minutes to get the disguise there. And that's yeah, all but then, then detonate on exit. However, he doesn't know where Leo is. Leo could be this close to the exit that he might need that karma shot to get out you know this is roulette you don't know what your opponent's up to yeah leo's gonna run out of time here as well though like even if he gets the disguise he still yeah, needs to he's... draw klaus set up yeah there's no setup on klaus yet which um now what is our, our boy doing here is he looking to is he looking to get the guard out of the way by dropping the karma it looks like it yeah so what he wants no the guard's not even seen it that's oh, he has better. seen it now, finally. No, he's... 
No, someone else has seen the camera and is telling the guard about the one that's right at his feet, right under his yeah, nose. Yeah, guard was focused on uh, Leo uh, <laughs> crouching there. It's more important. It was a bit, yeah, yeah. I mean, priorities, Sir. man. Yeah. Also, why would you question your commanding officer? You wouldn't do that. You just go, oh, sir's crouching. Do you want I me mean, to crouch as well, sir? <laughs> if you want to keep your job. <laughs> Are we all crouching today, sir? I can crouch if you want me to, sir. Yeah. Ladies yeah. dress, sir, while I'm doing this, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be a draw here uh, you know? it's looking likely I mean he's got two minutes he still hasn't got this disguise yet he's got no karma he's just give the karma away I don't know if he had any darts left in it to be honest uh, but, it's uh, just getting harder and harder here yeah uh, yeah one minute 40 yeah, seconds yeah and there's the rip yeah there's the rip I think that is uh, pretty much um, one to t uh, one to three after Marrakesh, then going into the third map. But we've, yeah. you know, Osha Osha's sat there. He he knows that. Um, he knows he's not getting out of here alive, as it were. True, true, true. And now the big question yeah, sure. is: uh, Should I call it, or should I leave them uh, hanging for another minute? Um, up to you, dude. <laughs> I'll leave him. I need to get. I need to get a beer. So, <laughs> I'll be yeah, back cheers, in one man. sec. But yeah, so that's the second map ending in a draw here, uh, Chet. So score is three to one, and we will go to the third map uh, in a couple of minutes. I was really happy to see Leo get the the kill on Razor. Unfortunately. He also had some issues with uh, grabbing the printing crew disguise, and uh, Osh had no problem at all with the razor part, mostly. It was the Klaus part uh, that was giving him issues. And yeah, 30 minute time limit, uh, it makes a huge difference compared to 47. You just don't have that many tries here, especially on the somewhat uh, bigger maps. Warning. <coughs> but yeah. I will call it here. Yeah, I mean, you could have called it a minute ago, but you're just like torturing people, don't you? No, <laughs> you, you said you said you were away, and I have to do some admin stuff now. It can't. Uh, oh, fair enough. Can't have the cast all quiet, right? Be right all back. right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that's um. Oh, she got close there. Oh, she got close. He finally got the Klaus he wanted, but then. Uh... Oh, just couldn't get the printing crew disguise. Went with the wrong, uh, went with the wrong idea. But that's uh, that, well, that's just the way it goes. I've just got Leo's uh, audio in my ear, and he's <laughs> he's doing that natural thing of uh, what the how. Which we've all been there, and we have. Don't deny it. But we do have one more map. Of course, it's not a it's not a win lose. There can be a there can be another draw. They can actually leave this match three apiece. Uh, however, I would argue, given that it's Whittleton Creek, one of the simpler maps for roulette, I would say, that we're probably not going to see a tie here. Um. Looking at the lifetime performance, Leo not been here in Roulette Rivals. Osh been here four times, two wins, two losses. So a uh, bit of a toss up there, Froey. Yes. How did you know I was done with my duties? I could <laughs> hear you breathing. I could hear you breathing. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> I, uh, I knew it wouldn't take you that long. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I knew it wouldn't take you that long because how many illegal spins can there be in Whittleton Creek? And I don't think there's that many, are there? Basically just uh, two large fire rooms. And that's it. And that's all the, that's all the limitations the, there are. Yeah. And what about basically, four kills? And that basically shouldn't already happen. Yeah, there's, there's some stuff banned, if that's, uh, that's what you mean. But banned stuff doesn't show up anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, Mr. Mike has coded the um, uh, Roulette Rovers banned, banned spin. Well, not spanned spins, but banned condition, yeah, individual exactly. conditions. 
Now, how's the four kills work on uh, Whittleton? Are, are, are four kills banned? Uh, no. His Janus Fall is a pain in the bum, but it is possible. You can get him in his house. It's just one particular window, isn't it? Yeah, true. Yeah, and for Nolan, you just got the creek. What the, uh, the map is named after. True, but you could get him. Um, you could get him in the the house for sale. Is there a full prompt in there? Maybe upstairs. I'm not entirely sure though. But that would be longer, I think. That would be a pain in the bum, no doubt. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> I think I'd rather chain lure them all down the road rather than get the estate agent and make him walk and yeah, everything exactly. else. <laughs> so, what do you but make yet... of the performances here, uh, Gordy? Uh, I thought Berlin was entertaining as hell. That uh, they they were both so close, really. And then, uh, of course, Osh having to um, having to go go back and replan and make sure he brought a loud SMG was just um, he he would have been absolutely kicking himself. But to get it done with two minutes left, <coughs> he'd have been relieved there and um, thinking, "Oh, good, Marrakesh, much much simpler. This would be fine." And of course, um, we ended up with a tie there, and it just just different things kept going wrong, didn't they? You just yeah, it was it was mostly the Klaus uh, timing part there, though. It was but, mostly uh, the Klaus timing, and when he finally got the Klaus timing, it was the it was the printer crew grab. He was so close to getting it right at the end. Uh, yeah, exactly. Leo, Leo also having trouble with the printer crew grab did get it, but it was convoluted the first time he got it, wasn't it? It involved several throne laws. And, yeah, um... and and it still looks scary. He pulled it off, but it still mm. looked uh, looks scary. So yeah. Oh, it was an entertaining one, no doubt. No Definitely. doubt. But no matter what, he did uh, earn his very first point of the tournament in his first match. So uh, could be a lot worse. And like I said, it's the first match for uh, both of these players in this tournament. They both have to grow into it. So uh, if they start like this, only better things can come for uh, both of them, I would say. Yeah, and you're saying um, this is a Group H match. Who else is in Group H, dude? Uh... Well, we got some great players like uh, Barbecue and Joe, the baby grabber, and TK47. A few, a few no names like some Joker guy. He's pretty bad. <laughs> but yeah, overall, uh, yeah, you got uh, players from all layers uh, in Group H. I'd say it's very. It, I'd say it's the most unpredictable group in uh, regards to the standings, like making a prediction. I, I love. Uh... It always has to be said. Whenever you hear the name Joe the Baby Grabber, it has to be said. It's best. the best name. It's the best it's name ever. Best name. Like, no not, doubt not, about not it. Even close. it there, there aren't. There is nothing. Second and third, fourth and fifth, just a distant no, no, memory. No. For I can't even think who would come in second, third, and fourth because you hear that and you think that's awesome. That's it's just awesome. It's, it's just a completely different level. A completely different game. And and if, and and the picture as well, the little baby with these two massive hands going to grab. It's just like, what the hell? What what community is this? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Gordy, spin is arriving. Would you do the honors again? I can indeed. We have Janice, the former constant, with a letter opener as the mailman, and Nolan Casty with a loud sniper rifle as the nurse. Okay, we got a loud kill. Love to see it. Uh, mailman. Interesting grab. Can be got quick. Yeah, two unique disguises. Yeah, there's no, uh, there's no, none of this uh, Janus bodyguard, Nolan bodyguard. Nope, they are the only um, ones on the map. There's no spare yeah, nurses. There's no uh, spare mailmen. No, hard to miss. <laughs> Imagine having two <laughs> mailmen for that uh, <laughs> that little block. <laughs> Yeah, you'd be saying, right, you guys are union, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, loud sniper for Nolan. Um, ooh. We're probably going to see a garage ISO, would you reckon there? You're not going to see a long-range yeah. snipe on him. Yeah, I Very, very, you see one of them. Very, very likely to see that. Yeah. It's a shame they don't, um, the, the, the big snipers don't penetrate the way they used to. Because you could you could set him up at the the fence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, they don't go through like they used to. Yeah, but uh, Leo, 
already loading in. Osh, still thinking it over here. Mm. And should be noticed noted as well, um, we said it earlier on, Leo is on a PS4, so those loading times are key. They are a killer. And you look and see as well, he um, let the cutscene play out a little bit. I was just wondering, um, was he stuck in a, a particular mode there? But again, <laughs> starting in suit. I mean, and I, I, Osh I, I, says so is Osh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm with it, and it's 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 not a bad option, right? True, because you can bring a um, a briefcase if you want. Neither has brought a briefcase; they've just picked up the stash by the bench. But I'm just thinking, for the mailman, you, you might want to go gardener. He's that much closer. Yeah, sure, sure. And you're that much closer to the letter opener, uh, which is um, upstairs in Helen's place, isn't it? I think. Mm, yeah, sure, of course. But it it doesn't lose you that much time, really. Yeah, and I think Osh might have trouble here because the, the running lady... No, he's got it. He's got the mailman, and he's away, so nice and safe. Yeah, Leo, easy. going with the standard distract and calmer. And, and uh, he's Gordy, got the he's Gordy could you tell us where the letter opener is? Let's uh, check your map knowledge here. I think it's upstairs in Helen's house. Uh, you go upstairs, it's, uh, if it's not in the room with the um, Archean robes, it's in the one next to it. Not in the attic? Is it in the attic? Is it? I don't know. Is it? It's in the attic. <laughs> it is in the attic. <laughs> I knew it was in her house. <laughs> there it is. Osh has found it. Yeah, he's found the other letter opener in the attic as opposed to the one in the room that dis that's only on my P PC. I don't know about the rest of you. No. And it looks like Leo is uh, checking hitmaps here. Uh, Fair play. Yeah. It's a one-stop shop, mate. But look at similar. He's, like, he's not that far behind uh, either. He also has the mailman disguise. We'll grab the, the letter open here to his left. There we go. Yep. So uh, And you can see that Osh went straight to the Osh went straight to the letter opener as well. Didn't have to consult, wasn't looking around the attic, he knew exactly where it was. Yeah. Well lucky for Leo it's, it was a very small attic. So mm. he found mm -hmm. it within a couple of seconds. Yeah, it's not like the Mendoza attic, is it, where you've got loads of things in there. It's like which bloody corner is this thing in? Yeah. Exactly. The saber, or the bloody um, the sniper, or the battle axe, or whatever it may be. <laughs> exactly. Honestly, my my biggest issue with Helen's house is always uh, how similar each uh, room looks. I still always get lost. Oh, we got a rip from uh, Leo there. He was spotted. Oh, he was yeah. spotted by um, the copper. Yeah. That quit. Calm down, Mister Demolition Man. Yeah, um, exactly. It, he's spotted that fence has the holes fence. in it. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's not a wall, like... he, he didn't need to shoot that camera. Uh, as long as he had some way to get in through the um, through the basement. Of course, sorry, just thinking some big wish from Osh there. But Osh is going to try and kill Janice quickly because uh, Gunther will just turn around and bugger off. I like how Janice didn't turn around there. That wish was yeah, so it was big, big for Osh. And it's just because yeah. of the gramophone, uh, gramophone lure, I reckon. Powerful. Look at that as well. Look at Gun Gunther's, um, Gunther's not even in the room yet. Yeah. But usually, uh, that, usually that's annoying though. Like you, yes. you just want them close to him. But yeah, that is the first kill down for uh, oh shit man, and he will go uh, towards his nurse disguise. I want to say. Uh, he's... Where is he headed? No, he's headed back up the map. Must be then the, the smuggle then, right? Yeah. No, he's got the smuggle. His smuggle was on the bench. So no, but he left us here it? for climbing up, right? Uh, get, I'm uh, with you, I'm with you, yes. Is, um, yes, because there'll be a sniper rifle in it. You can't just have that on your back for yeah. anybody. But um, no, um, I, I do recall a conversation Osh was having the other day. It's like, oh, so when, when you kill Janice, Gunther just sort of buggers off. He, he leaves. They were on a, And it was the, the silent sniper kill um, from over yeah, by yeah. Uh, um, Nolan's place. Mm -hmm. So he had that in his head. So if he could kill Janice in that room before um, uh, Gunther gets there, then he's safe. Yeah, he would just sort of stop. So yeah, that, that was that's uh, right. That was... uh, Speedrun threats work. Hmm. Like if you snipe Indeed. him or pistol uh, snipe him. But yeah, oh shit, man, there's a bit of an awkward timing here, right? Because he made the right decision. He wouldn't have had time to grab the the nurse and still make it in time for Nolan. But now it's a bit of a dead time and it looks like he wants to seeker him. 
He does. He looks like he's going to get him by. What was it um, um, Batty's fountain? Batty's bird fountain. Okay. Leo, though, finally gets that shot off. It doesn't look like he's going to be going through the basement. He looks like he's going to be trying to go in through the back door. Yeah, and that can be very uh, through, the, through, through, the, through the bathroom, even. Potato, potato. I mean, if it works. Yeah, if he can get these knockouts on. Quicker than that. Go on. Got to knock out Gunther now. It's, Gunther he's knocked still out. Good. He's still good. And let Ropner in. Janice's and head. Kill. Very uh, nice from Leo here. Ooh, some whoosh from someone outside the window, but uh, gets away with that. Yeah, Drags the body as well for extra fine. security. That's Very fine. well done by Leo, though. Yeah. Osh appears to have his um, isolation of Cassidy done. And he's headed down to go get the nurse. So Osh with a bit of a march on here because, well, he's he's got like, just shy of two minutes. Yeah. Oh, sorry, just shy of three minutes uh, further than um, uh, um, Leo. There are two and a half minutes, say, then. Yeah, but uh, I was opting not to go for the garage, except uh, instead the uh, secret Nolan to make him come to Betty's garden. That could prove to be a little tricky. We'll, uh, we'll see how he handles it. He's got his nurse. Could have knocked out. Is he going to hide the body? He, he should. is. He should. Yeah. And you got that jogging lady. You want to be careful putting people in there or doing anything with that shed because if that propane hasn't already exploded, anything goes on in there, it can explode the propane. Yeah. Just picking up um picking up the stash in there can uh, just like set everything off. Exactly. It's and a little said, bit a little bit bugged. And as Chet pointed out, uh, no clues either yet for uh oh shit man. Mm. Oh god yeah, I forgot about the clues. <laughs> did they not even pick it no they haven't neither guy has no, got no. a clue no they didn't pick up nothing from uh, Janice's exactly. pick and they don't have the, uh, <laughs> the secondary objective either wait what no <laughs> <laughs> yeah of course no I'm they didn't kidding, didn't pick up I <laughs> know but they didn't pick up um, well one of the clues would have been uh, uh, grabbing the photo that's the normal one so in this case to this side of the map they're going to want the lawsuit they're going to want um, the letter um, from uh, Phil the Hammer Spencer. Yeah. But look at this, though. The like, scar box. Yeah, but all these uh, bodies in the open for Osh. A lot of them. That's going to be a lot of dragging. Yeah. Like, that kind of defeats the purpose of not doing it in the garage. Yes. And... There's no guarantee that gate's going to be safe either when he um when he starts shooting. I mean, this is not going to be a soundproof room. Well, there's no you one got around. A gar there's no. We got the garbage him. man over the corner. Is he? Is I mean, is he there? You basically got no one around, really. Now, that should be fine. If he had his map on, we could bloody tell. <laughs> nah, nah, that, that should be fine. It's more like. Uh... Could be, should it's, be. It's you not never really, know. It just makes it slower compared to the garage, right? But yeah, yes. he still has uh, one clue to do. Well, two, but I wasn't Two counting. clues, yeah. yeah he's still, still going to get this filled. one, of course. But, uh... <laughs> no, you were. No, I... <laughs> you thought he was done. No. <laughs> no, shut up, you did. <laughs> but yeah, now... If he's not going to go all the way back to uh, James's house, he kind of needs to knock out uh, Spencer. Phil. Yeah, sorry, Phil the Hammer Spencer, yeah. yeah. I don't know why I call him that, but I have done ever since the start, and I now I can't stop calling him it. But, um, yeah, I, I think the Hammer is upstairs at this point. Good, very is he well just be. coming downstairs? Yeah, I don't think he's in the kitchen there. Or is that him there with the that dot? Should, that should be him. He's the that one is carrying him with the, the dot. So now, yeah, it is. Yep. So, he, oh, she's just got to wait. Or he's oh. going to try a dart. Dodgy. Oh, and oh. he gets that too. <laughs> crouch, uncrouch. Oh. <laughs> this this is just roulette brain from O's, really. Just Massive, over, yeah. Overcomplicating it. Yep. Yeah. Oof. 
Oh, and he's, he's let him go. Now, what's Leo doing? Leo is six and a half minutes in. He's got his Janus kill. Yeah. He's got... Whoa, no, and he rips, knocking out Sheriff Masterson yeah. for some reason. And I'm not sure why he went for that either. I don't it's know. Not those guys that you need. Yeah. Didn't need him. Yeah. Most taking out the cameras. He can get the um, seeker off on Phil now. He's got it. Come on, Fruity, you know me. I'm too old yeah, to change yeah, my yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah, I know. I respect <laughs> it. I respect my elders. But look at oh, those, like almost almost 10 minutes in, in-game time mm. with this spin. Pressure, man. Look, you, you said it a number of times on this cast. First match of the tournament, it gets to you. It, it does it is get still, to you. Uh, he is still on his first try, though. And that Observe, well, that's exactly what it is. Phil the Hammer Taylor. <laughs> now, it's Phil the Power Taylor. No, 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 you've got me double confused. That's not right. But he's got his clue. He's Ooh. on his way. That was scary from Oz there. Wasn't it, just? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 17 minutes. He made everything minutes. so much harder there, but he did get it in the end. 17 minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock for Oz, and he does finally get out with a 10-plus minute run on Whittleton Creek, but my God, his nerves must be jangling. Is yeah. what I think. I think, I think, still... I think it's, it's mostly due to that Marrakesh. We just uh, saw them play before this, uh, Gordy. We yeah. ended in a draw, and you know when the draw happens, like uh, it clouds your mind for the next map. And this was just clear uh, roulette brain because Osh is uh, definitely a great player, and yeah. I know he's and gonna be mad at this uh, this in game time. He really, really is. I mean, any ripple clouds your mind. Any ripple, yeah, um, uh, you know, sure. just like get you uh, get your head up, as it were. <laughs> but yeah, so GG's Osh takes this one five one. Uh, Leo, uh, the only point he got there was from the tie from Mar Marrakesh, but made a good showing in Berlin. I thought I thought he was unlucky on a few occasions there. Yeah, definitely he played well. He did, he did. He definitely uh, played well. Showed some good improv on Marrakesh as well. I thought. I mean, um, uh, obviously a new newish roulette player. I know it says returning rival, but that just means they've competed in one tournament before at least. Yeah, it's, no, it was uh, no. definitely promising what Leo uh, is showing. Like, if he keeps uh, keeps on practicing, like even during this tournament, uh, we could see big improvements from him. So yeah, I mean, mechanically, a lot of potential there. Yeah, 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 mechanically, exactly. mechanically look absolutely fine. Roulette though, different beast. This is different game mode. You just gotta know what you're looking at, really, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, that brings us to the standings for uh, Group H, as we just saw. Oh shit, man. Wins five to one, so that puts him on uh, third place at the moment. Played one, one hundred percent win rate. Leo Berg got his first point already in the first uh, matchup. That's always nice, no matter how many points it is, right? I mean, you could be like Joker <laughs> and have zero points. Oh God, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, but that was uh, yeah a good, good but shaky start for both of these players, and I'm sure uh, both of them uh, will keep on doing better and better. Um. What's the situation with the matches at the moment? Because there were like three matches going on. I think that we saw two raids, but uh, yeah, you know it's the world. Us, I know that. Yeah, but you know, like uh, maybe some impromptu uh, scheduled matches. Uh, it does look like everything is uh, is done, is finished at the moment. But uh, the Ducker and Observer have played, and the Chrome and Rust have played. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, okay. the day is not over, of course.